Here we go guys, two guys here with twice strike, he's revived and this episode is gonna be a massive banger right? because now everyone's coming in, right? everyone's teleported to where Endeavor is, it's like all following them, they in jump into the warp hole, right? And oh, here we go, source episode. But yeah, it's gonna be like massive, but it's gonna be massive, right? We got two guys copying twice. Everyone's jumping in there, spinner succeeded, right? And now it's like everyone's gonna get there, except maybe Shagirak and Deku, which is still be left at their own fight, but more or less every cat is coming in, right? Uh, here we go, yeah. Hawk is like defeated twice immediately. Hawk is like destroy it. <laughs> yeah, we need to destroy it quickly. It's like the Darby is coming there. Yeah, everyone. This episode feels like a massive hype, man. Yeah, because Darby kept some blood so on. Yeah, Darby is like let's burn everything down, right? <laughs> but it's like every character is coming to this this place now, except uh, Deku Shigaraki. Uh, yeah, this is the recap now. We see all the like twice uh, uh, CGI there. Dabby flies in there. Hawk is like, I'm really tired of this. <laughs> Hawk is like, I'm getting too old for this. And yeah, Dabby got some new power up. It's gonna be all like, Doshan! Oh yeah, Mushroom Girl is there. But we know she's the most dangerous girl ever. She can just make all the Twice guy die from her suffocation on mushrooms. Here he comes! Urikara Shan! Yeah, so last episode. Her and Sue are, yeah, they're following Toga. She's like pulling through the tongue. <laughs> she grab. Yeah, like, yeah. They're doing this like weird thing there. Yeah, they're doing a cool. Like Sue looks so tired though. Sue has his eyes and she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Urika is jumping in there. Oh, that's a real toga, of course. Oh, yeah, she's hiding there doing other twices. <laughs> they need to keep having this girl on girl fight, right? Yeah, they need to have that fight. Yeah, no, and Darby is like, oh my god, Darby is here? Hmm. <laughs> and all for one, he's just smiling, he's like, Oh yes, back to best, best, best weather girl! <laughs> weather girl, Meryl! <laughs> my god, yes, oh my god, new best character, Miracle Sister, yeah, come on. No, 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 Yeah, the, the weather girl, so last episode, <laughs> she starts, yeah, like this hot gal uh, weather girl. It's like, I hate up front. <laughs> yeah, not sassy about it. That was great. <laughs> she was like this poster. Man, we need more of her, man. Um, but, uh, no, this, this was really great. And I think that the last two episodes has been kind of meh, right? Uh, I mean, especially, I mean, I'm sorry, I mean, it here again, but... But told them both reviews, right? How the last two episodes just came out of nowhere. I think that's the thing we could keep saying it, right? Um, you like, okay, so they have this like hatred for mutants, you know, it's very similar to you know, X Men, uh, extremely similar to the X Men storylines, which is probably you know, inspired by because obviously, uh, you know, Deku is Spider Man, so whatever. Uh, but it's just like how it's, it had no build up, right? You know. Like, we never seen much of that. We've seen so little of that. Yeah, we've seen, I mean, Ashido is pink, and that's never... And then the whole idea that, oh, if you live in the city, it has happened to you. That's complete BS. Like, no one believes that. That's just bad storyline. Like, oh, no, but it's, people are only racist in the, in, in the farms or something. Like, come on, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, but that was just the dumbest excuse ever. No, that was just... That was what Eddie says. Um, that was complete BS, man. Well, here we go. This feels. I mean, this feels like a much better episode now. Um, the main fight here. Oh my God! Or the cat goes there too. You haven't seen much of her, but yeah, this is a classic, of course. Oh yeah. No, but you have to use Mushroom Girl. She got the power to kill everyone. Yeah, she she got that uber uber powerful freaking, you know. See, Sue looks so tired now. Yeah, Sue looks like she's like, oh, I'm. I need to take my beauty sleep now, yes. Yeah, Sue looks really tired. She looks like she's... Oh my god, they're also there! Yeah, I was gonna see that she lost her ear. Oh my god, it's too much friendship now. <laughs> but this is cute now, yeah, all the students are teaming up here. Yeah, and she's like, oh, your ear! Yeah, I lost half my power. Uh, yeah, recap that, of course. We're gonna recap that. We're gonna recap her getting owned, of course. Yeah, okay, good. But yeah, all the students here have built their little... Hmm. 
And Dubs is flying over there. Yeah, I mean, obviously Dubs gonna fight the Dower, right? But he's just gonna fly right now. He's just like floating in the sky with his crazy powers. And then Dower keeps punching the random twice. Well, I guess they might just tire and Dower out or something. Yeah, he's just like getting attacked by a bunch of, you know, clones that are like really weak, but like he's like, oh, he has a punch to him, I guess. Like his stamina is gonna. Oh, yeah, what happened to your brother? Yeah, well, he just left, though. <laughs> he was just his left, though. But I like how he kept, like, come back to me, bro, let's fight. Yeah, he's, he just left, right? Yeah, he's like, he just, like, he went out of there. Yeah, he's like, nah, I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, stupid dad. Um... But that looks even more crazy than usual now. Unless you're a messiah guy. <laughs> He's still like healing himself with the. Um... Oh, this is another one of his like evil plan that he planned out 30 years ago. Yeah, like, ah, oh, this is my perfect strategy. One of my many branches of evilness. <laughs> He's just a ridiculous bad ca evil character. Ha oh, ha, I planned this out 30 years ago. Yeah, it's like, yes, <laughs> that evil strategy uh, finally pays off. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course it does. Yeah, but Hawks is he gonna fight him? Is that a new cork? He kinda did some kind of weird yellow barrier thing between Hawks and himself. Yeah, I guess that's like a new cork thing. I mean, obviously he can have any cork he wants, right? So it's a little bit. He, he as a character, all for one is a, like he's a little bit annoying bad guy because he, he can almost bring out a new cork right they've seen before. Uh, if the author wants to. Yeah, but I mean, he's a little bit of a DS market now, because the author can just give him a new quirk if he fits, you know, like, oh, whatever, he has this quirk now. Yeah, because now it's like Endower versus... Hmm. But it feels like they're just burning down the whole place here, like, damn, it's burning all the clones or something. Yeah, I feel Dab is just like burning all the clones on the things. So they're just creating like a giant blue flame everywhere. And it does feel like you need like uh, Deku to defeat all for one. Yeah, like he's just too powerful, right, for items to defeat him. He healed himself with, uh, you know, time power. He's just stronger now. He's just stronger than both of them. Okay, Hawks are pissed off though. Oh yeah, you take number one and we lose to you. <laughs> That's good, Hawks. Hawks believes. Hawks is like, and that was my hero. He won't lose to you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like Hawk is like, I still believe. That's good. But here we go. Does the kitty finally defeat the sun? I think I got a new soundtrack here, yeah. Do, 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 do. Can he finally do it? Can he finally defeat Toya? Well, Toya lost it now, though. He completely turned into like a monster, so just do it. Just do it, father. I mean, he's completely turned into some other, like, yeah, whatever. Like, it's. Doesn't even look like a human anymore. Oh, yeah, Mike Sensei is also there now with Racer, it's true. And some of the Twices. Yeah, so we're back finally to the. Um, what's happening with Shigaraki now. I think we're all expecting, right, that Shigaraki's powers will be activated, obviously. They're gonna stop being able to look at, yeah, okay, this is really lazy now, there's like not, not even any animation here. No, there was like a minute of still frames. But yeah, obviously Shigaraki will get his powers while he's transforming here. Yeah, he's like transforming into this weird, b you know, b butterfly cocoon power up here. Yeah, he... he I can't some people commented on my video saying that, that's a, that he's healing himself. I thought he's obviously transforming, it's like cocoon thing. Yeah, people are like, oh, you're wrong. I'm like, well, I'm wrong, this clearly a transformation. What are you talking about? I can't believe people said that. <laughs> that <laughs> it was obviously a transformation, yeah. <gasps> no, not best girl. I bet she's adorable. I like how Momo is just, uh, yeah, producing me metal. Uh, she got the greatest quirk ever, you know, like this, like, molecular power-up. She's like, nah, I'm just making iron, yeah. Well, the whole thing is probably just gonna fall from the weight alone, from his quirk. Yeah, because they're floating in the sky, right? It's like 10,000 twice in that thing is gonna make everything collapse. 
Okay, Deku looks really super Saiyan now. <laughs> He's standing here, like a the Goku positioning. Yeah, like, okay, let's go super Saiyan on him. This guy is recording it still. Yeah, this is like their, their idea to Deku document. But love to see your Akiya transformer again now. So new, new core power up here. With the cocoon thing, yeah, obviously he's like... Looks even more like Offer 1 now though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His smile yeah, looks like Offer 1. Okay, it looks like he's normal face now again. I don't know what's happening with this character now. But it's just like, he's so immortal, yeah, it's like, no, I just healed that, no, I'm a new body form, yeah, it's like, it's my 11th body, it's like, okay, whatever. Huh, how's that not good to just figure out his place yet? You should be able to track this guy easily. Yeah, he should be able to, you know, find his, maybe someone finally comes and destroys his, uh, like, laboratory here, his, like, in internet place, because... It seems like really easy to find his place. He's hacking constantly. He's, he, you probably pick up his uh, his you know point very easily, but whatever. You know, Shigaraki reminds me a lot of uh, yeah. He reminds me of uh, Doctor Stone. Yeah, like this. It's a hair something. It's a muscular dude with the hair. Yeah, it's the long, long, even long hair man. This reminds me of. Okay, so Deku is. Getting tired, some extent, I guess. But he did use 120%. Uh... But yeah, of course, now his inner inner bros are like, we can still do it. We can still do it, Deku Shan. Okay, so his stomach is still like somehow transforming, yeah. Something is hiding, clearly, something behind his hands there. Is yeah, so he trying to prevent Offer 1 to, I don't know, cocoon out of him something? Huh. Oh my god, it's a Labrava! As you said, someone has to find this guy. It's a Labrava, Sean. It's who, Sean? This is Labrava. Finally, someone find him! I kept saying it. Right, there we go, it's Labrava! Of course, the best girl. Obviously, voiced by everyone's beloved uh, voice actor, uh, Hushan. So, you know, Labrava has, like, basically the most famous female voice actor in anime. Yeah, or, like, the most recognizable. So, it's voiced by, of course, uh, Yubi Hurie. That has voiced, you know, like everything. Yeah, she's been in like 500 animes, like seriously. And she's now opposite like Naru and so on. So she used to be that, that you know, the typical love interest. She's done like 20 animes as the main female character, right? And she was really, really big in the early 2000s. Like probably the biggest female was at, uh, at that time. And since then, she's been in like every anime ever. Like, she's, she's literally like, I feel in every anime. <laughs> I mean, she's been in so many animes. You're like, oh, it's Hushan. Yeah, she's been in like, see, she, I think she might have the record, like, genuinely have the record of being in the most anime. She, she's the, the, the most prophetic female voice actor. Yeah, like, insanely uh, many animes. And the other one thing about, which has been in animes about the songs heard them, is of course Rei Kugumiya, of course, the Sun, Queen of Sundra, right? There's not like every goddamn Sundu character ever. Yeah, she, uh, those two voices, they, they obviously know each other because they've been in like the same anime also as well, right? They've been in like 500 animes together as well, so. <laughs> but yeah, I was just saying that. Can, can someone just hack this dude? And then, we see, then, I, then I hear Hushan, I'm like, oh yeah, there we go. It's La Brava! <laughs> and then I hear her. Oh, is that La Brava Shan? <laughs> yeah. yeah, she exactly. She's good now. She's you know she got hired by the good guys because they're using her. Because remember, she was hacking for Yentl, right? For his social media platform. Yeah, she's actually a really good tech wizard. But of course, she um... yeah, Kusama. <laughs> He's like, no, who Shan? <laughs> All our voice man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, beautiful! La Brava owes him, finally! I keep saying it for like two episodes, like, why doesn't everyone hate this guy for? Finally, because who's Sean? And they're like, I got it, I got it. La Brava is finally back. Now, what else did they hired her? Yeah, they hired her after, you know, she was working with Gento to make him a famous hero, a famous bad guy, I guess, yeah. Her social media platform thing. And now she's like, yeah. Now, these days, I'm hacking for the good guys. <laughs> That's good, good. 
And you said it, yeah, I was like, come on, someone has to find this guy, right? It's so easy. He's obviously so easy to track now. <laughs> but that's true. La Brava, La Brava is their super, yeah, super genius uh, tech lady. Oh man, he's hearing her voice, man. Feels like I'm 10 again, yeah. <laughs> she does so many animes, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but it's funny how they're showing like hacking in anime or movies. Yeah, <laughs> she's hitting the screen and it's like flopping different skulls. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. She's just like hitting and it's keep changing browser. Like that's how hacking works. Yeah, you keep changing browser. They obviously just make it harder to hack like that. But no, no, no. It's like she keeps changing browser, bro. Keep changing browser. That's how it definitely works, man. That's how it works, man. Yeah. But anyway. I like how his hands turn into like a mantle now. Yeah, it's like a cape. His hands are a cape behind him. See what I mean? That's his hands, right? But they look like they're a cape. I liked it. Yeah, it's nice. It's like tight, tight, Oh, yeah. Poor Kamari. Lightning boy. Battery guy. <laughs> his whole thing is he's been like, I'm a battery. <laughs> Come on, it's been great. This is like, I mean, using battery powers. But see what I said earlier, they're two minute twices, right? The two minute twices. So, yeah, the weight of the twices. Oh, as I said earlier, there's too many twices. It's just gonna make the whole thing uh, collapse, right? Because they, they, can't, they can't handle the weight, right? Here comes uh, Stars uh, Bros. Yeah. But yeah, but it's just too much weight. Oh, who's the computer now? Oh, he's Jemtel! Oh, he's back! Oh my god! <laughs> Of course, La Brava's helping out! It has to be Jemtel, right? He's coming and bouncing! Is that Jemtel? Who else would it be? With that grey hair jumping on the water? Come on! La Brava is back, it has to be Jemtel coming in on the water! Yeah, yeah obviously they were fight waiting for him to... Yeah, miss. missed... Oh my god, this freaking joke, man! She's back?! <laughs> she gets some screen time?! Yeah, like we and her boys? Yeah, but he's like, remember Jentel here. Well, these guys are also somewhere <laughs> helping out, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, come on, this Jentel got to go the water. I keep calling it. Jentel, come buddy! Jentel! See, I keep saying it, but it's Jentel coming in. I oh, love it. Jentel's coming back, baby. That's what I'm here for. The Jentel criminal. Oh, I love it. Oh, I got a goosebump, man. Yeah, it's Jemtel is back. <laughs> That's what I saw. It's Jemtel coming in. Oh my god, Jemtel is back. Oh, I love it. That was awesome. Freaking 10, top talented anime. Oh, is this back in the prison escape? Jemtel probably was like, oh, I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna help them capture these bad guys. Oh, there's muscular and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so muscular escapes, because he's the bad guy. I'm assuming Jent is gonna stop them, right? Yeah, I assume Jent is gonna stop them. He's like, no, you're bad guys. Exactly. No, Jent is gonna stop them, right? Yeah, because Jantel believes in redemption, right? Exactly, Jantel's gonna come in and be like, No, you stop being bad guys! He's gonna give them like a eye. No! Oh, I love it. Of course, Jantel is gonna be like, No, don't do it. Oh, this is great, man. That is great. Ah, oh, three bit. That is great. Yeah, because Jentel, <laughs> he's been talking so hard, man. Oh, this is great, man. Jentel's coming in and be like, no! Did he stop them? Probably not, though. He's probably left, he probably, probably the only one left or something. He's probably stayed by himself after right? getting beaten up by all the bad guys. Yeah, I feel Jentel is stayed there, yeah. No, he did stop them? Did his powers? Oh my god, Dick! Freaking Jentel, man. Dick, you made him to be a good guy. 
Ja, det är beautiful, man. Det är beautiful. Jag tror jag man. Det det kan ju affekta mig två matcher, ja. Det är det bästa jag har då. Ja, det är beautiful. And now it's coming in to help him, yeah. Now it's coming in from the water. And now Lebron is like, Come on, eh? Get him! Come on. Yeah. Gentle criminal. Come on, this is awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Now you can finally be a hero. Man, I really tear up for this bit here, but Jentel is coming in there, yeah. Look at this. No, Jentel is like Super Saiyan now, yeah. Imagine if he actually was like a bad guy to begin with. <laughs> he's, yeah, but he's powered up by, of course, La Brava's, you know, love for him. Because she gets, you know, her power, her power is like, you know, support, yeah. It's like, I believe in you, gentle. <laughs> yeah, why wasn't this a hero to begin with? I don't know. <laughs> why wasn't this a good guy to begin with? Well, I guess he needed La Brava's support, though. Well, he's awesome. I love it. There we go, yeah. Jente makes the whole thing uh, stand up again. Oh, it's beautiful. Now you're like, oh, it's a gentle criminal! It has to be gentle! Oh, this is beautiful. Man, I really tear up for this, yeah, I'm really massive tear up for this thing. But yeah, his powers are back now, though, so he can, he can, like, decay everything. Except someone, like, slashes his hand, or what, is that, like... Is she back too? What? Is she even alive? Lady Nagrant? <laughs> what? Lady Nagrant is alive? It has to be Lady Nagrant, what? That clearly was Lady Nagrant's uh, bullet, right? What? Lady Nagrant is coming back sniping him? I thought she died, what? It has to be Lady Nagrant, right? It has to be, you be her with the sniper gun, yeah. <laughs> She's in the hospital guard. <laughs> Lady Nagrant is back! You're like, what? <laughs> yes, I thought she was dead! <laughs> like, what? Yeah, soon Midna says to the church, suddenly I asked number two, man. Man, I really teared up with Jentel. I don't know, it was super emotional. She's a great character, man. I love, I love Jentel and La Brava. Come on, that was awesome. Man, I'm excited. So, I got excited, man. So I saw him. He's coming up there, man. Uh, as soon as he... Uh, <laughs> so I forgot to vote. I was like, oh my god. That's Jentel, of course. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was a great episode. Uh, definitely the best in a while. Yeah, Jesus Christ, I teared up with Jentel, man. That... Uh, Oh my god, gentle criminal, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why, it's just super, super into it. When gentle up here, yeah, it's just incredibly <laughs> dramatic. When gentle up here. Um, but anyway, yeah, of course they. Um, um, short review now then, the long review afterwards, so we wait, wait for the preview as well. But um, yeah, this episode was, of course, much, much better than the previous episodes. Uh, I mean, as expected, right? We see all the characters coming in there. You see Toga, Urukara, Su, they're all like landing on this massive fight, right? Dabi, which is at our, I guess, next episode probably. Yeah, it's starting a little bit that Hawk keeps trying to fight, you know, after one and so on. So it's like lots of happening there. And then, of course, we finally see them stopping this hacking thing. Which, like I said, right, I was like, man, why why hasn't they stopped it yet for? Like, it's super easy for them to, like, find him, because he's constantly, is like, interfering with their stuff, so they should, they should definitely protect him immediately, but whatever, La Brava finally does that, and then, of course, this part of Jente was beautiful, man. Jente is, like, finally coming back, he stopped all the bad guys. I liked the two that we saw him in the prison escape, and he was like, no, I'm gonna stop all the guys from escaping, is that right? He wants to, you know, he believes in redemption, he wants to be a hero, you know? 
There was like a weird criminal guy, right? He wants to be a good guy instead. So yeah, that was really beautiful. To see him in La Brava, like, okay, yeah, now we work for the good guys now. Um, that was great. Uh, that was really emotional, man. Yeah, I, I honestly don't even know why I'm so emotionally attached to Gentleman. I guess I just like my Gentleman criminal. Maybe I'm just too much of a Hushan fan. I'm like, I, like, I really feel that La Brava <laughs> emotions. Um, and then also Lady Nagrant is alive. You're like, what? I thought she was dead. <laughs> Did he you kill her off or something? Yeah, man, it's... Um, yeah, she cannot appear there. But immediately I saw the bullet. I was like, what? That purple bullet thing? Is that Lady Nagrant? Like, yeah, it was crazy. The last minute there. So this episode was great. A lot of returning characters coming back here um, that we see in the past, and obviously they, you know they've both been like re redeemed by Deku, right? So of course a like, classic main character thing where he has Deku has managed to like make them turn into good people, right, by defeating them, and now they're like, you know, yeah, we're gonna help Deku, you know. So they all get like, we're gonna have that boy, you know, yeah, like that's a classic, you know, main character trait, right? Like his f you know, old you know friends comes back here to help him that he. Helped her earlier, right? Just like ordinary woman did, of course, in the uh, past season. Okay, here's the preview. You're gonna see. Okay, she's gonna fight them too. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, obviously the cat goes a little, yeah. Little grunt a little bit. More of Gentle and La Brava. Hope. Okay, that didn't say. That almost didn't say much, that preview. No, it was just like. The preview showed more of Lady Grant than like La Brava and so on. <laughs> and Yemta. But we had them all come this episode. We had them all come this episode. So it's like, yeah, okay, that wasn't much of a preview. They just showed more of that. Okay, they got more screen than this episode. Okay, great. But that didn't show much. And I saw the cat girls like using her powers too, yeah. But that was, that's kind of it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's a really emotional episode. Because reaction, subscribe, so on. I'll see you guys with the review coming up shortly from now.